Rock Shark So, a while back ago, we uh-huh. started this new series called Rockstar in the Womb. We haven't we haven't unleashed any of them yet. Will those be on the Disrupt the Media channel, the Next Round channel? Where are those coming? Uh, it's going to be on the Next Round Pods. Next Round Pods. Yeah. <laughs> next Round Pods. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, uh, but, but wait a second. So, what? none of these have aired yet? No, we haven't had them. We, we, uh, Scott and I have done a few of these. and uh, this I know was, what's in the hopper for some of these, and I'm very yeah. excited about them. Yeah. So, this first one. My I, wife's in the hopper. Boom. <laughs> All right. Is that one where you can record five things at once? <laughs> they still do after that. <laughs> anyway, so the first one I got to talk to this guy who's considered, the people call him a legend or whatever, so I didn't really know a lot about him. Um, and we interviewed him. We do it in this little womb chair we had in the studio. Uh-huh. And uh, it went, uh, this is a 45-minute conversation, so y'all sit back and uh, re- I'm just <laughs> joshing Show's with over. you. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Play it again. This is an expensive chair. I've been told it is a womb chair. It is not very comfortable, uh, but we're going to do some interviews here. We're going to interview some celebrities, some famous athletes, politicians, maybe a few chefs. And today we get to settle. And you always have to settle. And today we settle <laughs> with a guy that went to the University of Auburn in Alabama, Mr. Adam Greco. <laughs> I've been told you played there. You were a... You're a kicker. Uh, you kick the ball, which is really cool to me these days. How, how, how are you doing, Adam? Um, it's Al, first of all. It's Al. Al Del Greco. Adam. Al two Del words, Greco. Two words. A lot of people think <laughs> Del is my first name. Okay, so it's Al. Al. Okay, Al. got it. Uh, that's, that's my fault. I didn't do a lot of research, but it's really nice to meet you. Uh, if you could start your own furniture arranging business, you know what you'd call it? What would I call it? <laughs> Greco Deco. <laughs> I think that would be a great thing. Just something to think about. Um, How about Deco by Greco? See, that's just cheesy. No, that doesn't. Like that. That doesn't, that doesn't okay. No. It says on your bio. I read your bio and everything. I kind of checked out about two sentences in. That's, that's nothing against you. It's just the content of what it was. But it says that <laughs> says that you're an athlete. <laughs> you're an athlete. So, yeah. yeah. I mean. Are, in the technical sense, I guess. I mean, you put a ball in front of me. Yeah. Put a club in my hand. Put a tennis racket. In oh, my so hand. you're a swinger? No. <laughs> wouldn't go that far. Okay. Put a tennis racket in my hand. I mean, yeah. I, I could play the sport. Yeah. So, depends. You know, if you're going on athlete, which looks to me like you're kind of looking at a stereotype of a body figure and a weight and yeah an athlete yeah uh no, that's what they that, in that sense I, I i can't put myself in that category and i read that you were an oiler was it anything like the movie there will be blood <laughs> or was that another hollywood line that we were fed um not particularly aware of what that movie is so I, he's I, a, he's an oil man he goes yeah, and he like it's an a, oil rig yeah daniel day lewis yeah and i didn't know if it was it anything like that and he was like he was a mean he's a ruthless guy and he was just he was all about money and there's a big milkshake scene where he's like i drink your milkshake and he's it yeah, throws bowling pins <laughs> it's really intense and i yep. didn't know if that had anything to do i, with I was very oil. intense as an oiler um, Good. Never worked with any crude oil in my career I, there. That wouldn't be an oiler then, but okay. Keep um, going. <laughs> but definitely was intense in what I did. Uh, took a lot of focus, took a lot of athletic ability. That's another lie. So uh, um, it was <laughs> from, the other, from your teammates. <laughs> athletic teammates ability. and when I went in the game as well. When sometimes. you helped. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's cool. Uh, you know, sometimes the athletes did all the work. And then I came in and it got the accolades, act it or the or all the blame. Oh, uh, well, that's cool. That's a good fun. That's a fun responsibility. You know. uh, this is a weird question. Do you have any distant relation to semi-famous actor Richard Grieco? <laughs> to my knowledge, no. Let's go see uh, if you can get him on the show. <laughs> I was just asking everybody here, and uh, it got really deep and philosophical. So I'll ask. I have no better person to ask than you. Who is Adam Al Al Del Greco? Uh, wow. I don't know if I've ever been asked that question. Okay, well, just try not to be boring with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> say, kind hearted guy that has the best interest of everybody at heart, um, tries to do the right thing. Um, wants to be. 
Al Del Greco from the University of Auburn in Alabama. Uh, he was a kicker, and I hope he kicks ass for the rest of his day and maybe for the rest of his life. Um, it's been Inside the Wound with Rockstar. I appreciate Mr. Del Greco, Mr. Greco, whatever his name is. He's been fantastic, and thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, we're going to do a hand. Um, thank you for coming in. You're the See, best. If you were an athlete, you'd know what to do. I'm a mathlete. Mathlete. Yeah, okay. I do. I'm really bad at math. I'm really good at kissing. That's okay. <laughs> really, really crazy that I mean we've put out all this content and we're holding that kind of stuff. Oh yeah, that's oh, that well, so him, good. I said I'm gonna be a little mean to you. He's like, that's fine. No, you can be as mean as you want. Al's the nicest guy in the world. He wasn't going to care. Um, that was, as uh, as that guy says, loved it. Great amount of awkward. Somebody says nobody does awkward better than Rockstar. Th thank mm. you. Uh, it's getting compared to something I have never personally viewed. I doubt you have either. Rockstar, Zach. Um, Galvanakis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is, is Something in between the ferns. Yeah. I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar. I'm yeah, sure you are, too. So, I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what they mean by that. So, the guy from know, The Hangover has a show? I, again, I That's don't weird. know. I don't know, but I like in so, the womb. So you think somebody sits down with this Galifianakis guy and they're famous and it's awkward? Jim, they're saying that in the chat room. I've personally never viewed that myself. I have Rockstar, I don't think has either. Well, this so. is just an interview. I don't know what. Yeah, what so I really don't know the what hangover they mean. guy does. Yeah. Well, I haven't. I haven't been this upset since somebody accused us of doing best and worst of the weekend like Dan Patrick and them does. <laughs> never, who's Dan Patrick? Does Dan Patrick have him pill on the show? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great point. <laughs> I mean, really, ours is totally different. Ours has hemp pill. <laughs> Tyler's like, I'm surprised too. The hangover guy ripped off rock, rock star in the womb. I mean, come I, I, on. I, I might need to pursue this. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's I go watch it. He deflating. might have some good ideas for you. Does Does he have the womb chair too? I think he's got yeah. two ferns. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, well, see. As long as they don't set up in between them, then that would be too close <laughs> to what we were trying to do. Totally different. <laughs>